This is Altina Hay. I am the author of four books on social media, the mobile web, Web 2.0, and search optimization. And I'm also a professor of Drew University's social media certificate program. This class is about leveraging YouTube. YouTube is still one of the leaders, both on the overall web as the third top site and in social media as the third most used social media site. Now, when I first started my channel for promoting my books, I thought I was going to be using YouTube as a way to send my readers to ancillary material for my books, like video tutorials and so forth. What I didn't expect is to see how many views and how many subscribers my channel would start to get. Now, this really got me thinking, why am I not leveraging my YouTube channel? Why am I not leveraging it to drive more traffic to my websites, to push my products more, and to take advantage of all the many features that are available in YouTube that allows me to do that? Beyond the number of video views and subscribers that I have, I started really looking into where that traffic is going once it reaches my website. Now, for those of you who haven't seen this feature in Google Analytics, it's very nice. First of all, there's a new feature in a traffic source is called Social. And then down further, you see what's called Social Visitors Flow. And so it tracks the behavior of visitors from social sites once they get to your website. Now, there are certainly days when I get more hits from YouTube than I do from any of my other social sites. But what's more interesting is to follow the behavior once people get to my site. You notice that all of these fourth level clicks on my site come from YouTube. And you may say, well, that's because there are more YouTube visitors on the site. However, if I look at a day where YouTube came in third and I follow these fourth level visits to my website, most of them go back to YouTube. And so it isn't as much the number of visits as it is the quality of the visit. So what I have learned is that YouTube followers and subscribers and people who actually click through from within the video or from my channel are more likely to turn into conversions once they get to my website. This was even more motivation for me to find a strategy and tactics for leveraging my YouTube channel and my videos. So the goal of this class is to learn how to create a healthy and growing YouTube channel. Now by healthy and growing, I mean an optimized channel and one where your followers are sincerely interested in your topic and your videos. Now, becoming viral is great. It's fantastic to have a really nice surge of traffic to your website or a lot of views on a video. But for those of you who have done online marketing for any length of time, you know that that type of traffic and that type of exposure really is short-lived. The idea in any really good social media strategy is to build advocates, build a readership, build an audience that's going to be loyal to your brand and to your products so that they can also share those things and recommend them within their own networks. And then I want to focus this class on leveraging your videos to drive sales or traffic. There are a lot of features within YouTube that many people don't know about that can really help you drive traffic or push products or you know whatever your goals are on YouTube. And then the other point I want to make at this stage is that slow and steady wins the race. And this is a good philosophy for all of your efforts in social media. It's this type of approach to social media that's going to help you see long-term results. Specifically in this class, I'm going to talk about optimizing and customizing your YouTube channel, uploading optimized videos to YouTube, using annotations and other YouTube video features, adding interactive features to your YouTube videos that encourage people to subscribe to your channel and to check out other videos. I'm going to give you an introduction to YouTube playlists and then show you how to create video galleries from those playlists. Then I'm going to talk about promoting your YouTube videos with Google AdWords. Now even if you have a low budget, this allows you to place what are called call to action overlays in your YouTube videos so that people can link to outside sources right from within your videos. And then we'll talk about placing and promoting videos in blogs, both your blogs and commenting within other people's blogs. Promoting videos in your other social media accounts like Pinterest, Facebook, and Twitter. And promoting videos in Google+, Plus, which is very important because it's integrated now with YouTube. And SlideShare some little known things about SlideShare and YouTube. And then I'll talk about engaging on YouTube. 
And in the wrap up, I'm going to talk briefly about uh, some video production best practices that you can use. So I hope you join the class because I have a lot of really great strategies and tactics for you to apply to YouTube to help you leverage that very powerful social media tool. So let's get started.